One issue with catamarans these days, modern ones, with dagger boards, is it is very easy to snap your dagger boards if you don't do the right thing. Let's have a look and see what the right thing is. Hello, it's Joe here for Joyrider TV, and today we're just going to take a quick look at how you can avoid snapping your dagger boards on your catamaran. If it's an F-18, like a Tiger, a C-2, some sort of Nacra from uh, over the ages, um, a Dart Hawk, anything like that, you don't want to snap your dagger boards. Here is how you can avoid it. This is what happens when you get it wrong. If it's windy enough, to double trapeze upwind, you definitely need to lift your dagger boards if you are not sailing upwind. The only time that your dagger boards should be all the way down is if you're sailing hard upwind. If you're sailing any other course, you need to lift your dagger boards. The windier it is, the more you need to lift the dagger boards. So if you're double trapezing and you're going on a close reach, for example, about here would be enough. But if you're double trapezing and it's very windy, like 25 knots plus, having the dagger boards lifted to the downwind position at all times, other than if you're sailing hard upwind, will prevent you from snapping your dagger boards. Not only will lifting your dagger boards when it's windy prevent the damage that could occur, it will make the boat easier to sail as well. If you keep your dagger boards down when it's windy, the boat will just want to take off all the time and start rearing up on the dagger boards. So all of the load from the boat is going through the dagger board, which is why they're gonna break. So pull them up when it's windy. If you're not gonna be sailing around a course or you're not sailing anywhere in particular and it's windy, Pull the dagger boards up, makes the boat a lot easier to sail and you won't break them, costing you a huge amount of money to replace. When you do break a dagger board, the added bonus is you're probably going to damage the hull as well. The slot where the dagger board sits, if the dagger board snaps inside that slot, it's going to get damaged as well, causing you more expense and inconvenience. So why not pull them up? Thank you very much. Looks expensive. So there you go. I hope that helped to clear that up. Put your dagger boards up when you're not sailing hard upwind. Even in light winds, you shouldn't have them down all the way unless you're sailing hard upwind. I'm sure I'll get some comments saying, I sail with my dagger boards down all the way, but I've never snapped one. Congratulations. So thanks very much, and we'll see you for some more shortly. If you really want to snap your dagger boards, all you need to do is keep them down and go on a beam reach in 25 knots of wind, double trapezing, and you'll have one of those bad boys snap in no time at all. 